So even though the test scores indicate that there's not that much of a difference between the, uh, the 5 megabit per second file and the 6.5 megabits per second file, I always want to take a look at the frames and see if I can notice a difference. Now, again, this is the um, Moscow University Video Quality Measurement Tool. The red line is the first file, which is the 5 megabit per second file, and the blue line, second process, is the uh, 6500 kilobit per second file. And lower scores are better, so the file with the lower score has higher quality. Now, throughout most of the two files, we're seeing very little difference between the two files. As we scan over to the right, we see a few areas where there's a pretty significant difference here and a pretty significant difference here. And the question is, you know, is this something that a normal viewer would see? And the best way to check that out is to click Show Frame and load the actual frames that are being uh, compared at that spot. And you can toggle through the original file, the first process, which is the lower quality file, and the second process, which is the higher quality file, via these controls here, or you can just use one, two, three on the keyboard, and that's what I'll use. So this is one of the frames that shows a pretty big difference between the uh, 5 megabit per second file and the 6500 uh, kilobit per second file. So if we have this view, which is 100%, um, this is one, this is the original file, this is the 5 megabit per second file, and this is the 6500 kilobits per second file. So even though this is a relatively low, uh, high motion sequence, and I'm actually in a lift, I'm, it, it's, it's not me, it's, it's a guy I'm shooting with, but he's in a lift and the, the lift is going up. So the leaves are blowing, there's a lot of detail, and the camera is moving, although it's not, not moving quickly in this particular uh, section, it will, go, it will go higher soon. Anyway, this is uh, one, this is the original, this is two, this is the uh, five megabit per second file, this is three, this is 6500. And if we zoom into the file, which we can do with controls down here, if we zoom into the file, we can start to see a difference between the original and the two encodes. So this is the original, this is the 5 megabit per second file, and this is the 6500 kilobits per second file. So you definitely see a difference in quality. This is the original, this is the low, the, the 5 megabits per second file, this is 65. And there's other areas in the frame where you see a difference as well. So this is the original, this is the lower quality version, the 5 megabits per second, the face is gone, and a little bit of the face comes back at 6500. This is very far away, it's very high detailed. And if we look at this sign over here, this is the original. You can see a little bit of lettering up there. Um, totally gone with the 5 megabit per second file, and still totally gone with the 6.5 megabit per second file. I guess the key point is, you know, what's the typical viewer going to see at 100% playback speed? So, you know, here's the original, here's the low quality file, here's the higher quality file, and I'm kind of toggling through uh, the three frames, and I'm not seeing a lot of difference. So I don't think a typical viewer would notice the difference there. And if we, you know, if we kind of move a little bit further, maybe I've already... Okay, so you can see the camera come down now. I'm not going crazy. I was there when we, when we shot this video. So there's a lot of motion here. This is a very hard to compress sequence. And this one's not, not too bad itself. But again, a yeah, lot of motion. That's the original. That's the highly compressed. That's the 6,500 gigabits per second. And I really don't, you know, I really don't see anything that a typical viewer watching this at full resolution would see between the um, between the 6,500 kilobit per second file and the 5 megabit per second file. You know, while if you zoom in, you're going to see some differences. Again, this is the original. That's the uh, 5 megabit per second. That's the 6,500 kilobits per second. You're going to see some difference if you zoom in, but viewers can't do that. They don't have files to compare it to. So if you're, if you're trying to decide whether to include the 6,500 kilobits per second file, um, you know, it, I don't think there's a qualitative reason to do it. Um, if you have a premium service and you really want to provide the, the absolute best quality that you can, then maybe you do it. But I think you're spending a lot of money on the encoding and a lot of money on the, uh, you know, tr transferring that file, sending that file from a bandwidth perspective, and the viewer's not going to get that much better an experience from that file um, than they would with the 5 megabit per second file.